Hey everybody, good morning. It's Dave here at Holiday for Two. I hope you're having a good day and I hope you're having a good week. What I'm gonna talk about today is tires. It's where the rubber meets the road. That's gonna be the name of the video. But hey, it is summertime still. It is almost Labor Day weekend and the temperatures pretty soon will start to come down, but not soon enough for us who live here in Arizona. But what I want to talk about is tires because it is never too late to start looking at your tires. And I noticed the other day as I went out to my RV that I hadn't checked some of the tires and I found some signs of dry rot. And so I'm going to show you if you have an RV, it doesn't matter what kind of RV, if you have something that rolls on rubber, maybe a trailer, maybe a fifth wheel, maybe a tent trailer, maybe even a boat or a cargo trailer, anything that rolls on rubber, you want to go check your tires. And even now, even though it's almost the end of the summer, this is a perfect time to start checking your tires. Now we live in Arizona and Arizona is the worst. The desert Southwest altogether is terrible. It is the, the desert Southwest is where tires go to die. <laughs> and I'm, I'm kind of joking, but I'm kind of serious. Um, recently I made a trip to Tucson to go see my dad in Tucson and I noticed on the way down to Tucson in June this was in June and of course on both sides of I-10 from between Phoenix and Tucson there were pieces of what I call tire bones now tire bones you might know what I'm talking about those are the pieces of tire that fall off when somebody has a flat and you will see those all up and down I-10 in the summertime and you start to notice them about the time the temperatures start to hit 100 degrees, like in May, April or May. That's when you'll start seeing those tire bones show up. In fact, I was behind a semi, about a quarter of a mile behind a semi, halfway between Phoenix and Tucson, and I noticed a little puff of white smoke. And then I saw uh, some pieces of tire falling off on the road, and then I saw the semi pull over to the right. He would lost one of the tires on his cab in the back end on, a, on the, one of the quad, the tires of four on the back. I think it was one on the driver's side actually that went out and he lost one of those. So that's probably why he was pulling over. But I'm gonna show you how you can take a quarter and check your tire and see just how much wear it has. So in just a second, I'm gonna take you and show you some simple things that you can do to check your RV tires. Any kind of, anything that you have that rolls on the road. So let's go, let's take a look where the rubber meets the road. My ship comes in, I know just what we'll do. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. All right, well, I just recently took the, uh, I call my, this is uh, Lucky. <laughs> we've kind of nicknamed our uh, motorhome Lucky because of all the incidences where we've had close run-ins and she seems to squeak by. So this is Lucky. So everybody meet, say hi to Lucky. This is Lucky right here. And so I want to make sure that she stays Lucky. I want to check her tires. And I noticed when I went to the tire dealer, I was, they were looking at some tires for me because I wanted to get two tires, but I think I want to get four. And I'll show you what to do. Just take a quarter and put your quarter in and check the tread. You want to look in the center of the tire too. Take the quarter and if you can see the, uh, George Washington's head, then that means the tread is uh, worn down too much. And some of these aren't really too bad. I don't know if you can see that. Some of George Washington's head is buried there, but there's a few spots like there, that's kind of thin. But uh, there are some areas where you can see some cracks and chipping away at the tread on the side here. And that's one of the first signs of dry rot. You wanna look for cracks. Uh, you wanna look for the tread. If your tread's getting thin and also look for cracks and chipping on the rubber on the side. That's one of the first signs that there's some dry rot. And these tires are almost six years old. 
And anytime your tires get to be about five or six years old, even if the tread is still good, <coughs> you might want to consider replacing them because they will blow out even if the tread still is good. Now some of these have good tread, but there is signs of cracking. And I don't know if you can see in the, with the camera, I'll try to get close there, but it's kind of hard to see. There's some chipping and stuff in spots and cracks that are kind of showing up. Let me take a look at the back tire. Also, one of the other problems that I'm having with some of these tires um, is they don't hold air very well. Not like they used to. These are grabbers. And the tread still looks good on these too. But even though they still have good tread, that's not always an indication that you need to replace them. You want to look for cracks on the side. Also age. I know for a fact that these tires are from 2017 when this vehicle, these are the tires that came with the vehicle in 2017 when it was sold. And so 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, they're about five years old. They're getting due to be replaced. And the tread isn't too bad. I think the ones on the inside actually have a little less tread. Checking them. But if you take, put a quarter in, Definitely, if you can see the, uh, if George Washington head, if his head shows on the tire. So right now I can put this down and I, his top of his head just goes down below the tread. His head goes below the tread. So that's one indicator. Also want to look for cracks. Let me take you around the other side. Now I'm going to take the quarter and compare this with a newer tire that I had put on last year. This tire even still has the little uh, fringe on the side. So watch as I put George's head in. All right. When I put George's, when I put the quarter down inside the tread, it comes up, the tread comes up to George's nose. Actually his eyeballs. So the tread on these are about half of what these are. If that makes sense. This quarter goes down to the point where it almost goes to George's nose. I was trying to think of a little cute saying there, but George knows when you need to change those tires, right? <laughs> but yeah, when I put the quarter down, it goes to George's nose. The tread on the older tires, on these older tires, the tread is about half of what they are on the newer tires. So that's an indicator. Now, another thing that you wanna check is air pressure. Uh, on my motorhome, I run 60 pounds on the front tires, 65 across the back. I also have these little tire pressure monitoring system that I got for this last year because we had a blowout on the Jeep that we pull. And there's nothing that's worse than having a blowout in the summertime. I do not want to have a blowout. I've experienced that in the past. Uh, we had an 87 bounder. Uh, years ago and we had a blowout on one of the back tires and they, they looked good too and uh, one of the tires blew out on us on the way up to the mountains in Arizona it was like about this time of year it was in September and it was 105 degrees and we left the valley and before we could get out of the valley one of the tires went out so we ended up I ended up getting four new tires on that trip it always is a good idea to check that tread Putting George's head in here, I can see that there's a difference between these older tires and the new tires on the other side. So I'll probably get at least two, maybe four new tires on it before we make any trips this next year. Do not want to have a tire blowout on you. That is not fun at all. So a couple of tips. Take your quarter, check your tread, check the year, how old your tires are. If your tires are five or six years old, you want to really look at them. Trailer tires are infamous for being older because people buy those and they kind of forget about them. They forget about checking those trailer tires. And I can't tell you how many trailers, fifth wheels and trailers that we've seen pulled over on the road this summer because of flat tires. And so there's nothing fun about having a flat tire when you're on a vacation or on a trip. So check your tires, take a quarter, check to see if George's head shows. If it does, then your definitely tread is way too thin. Check to see if they're losing air pressure a lot. 
and also check for cracks around the side of the tire or welts bubbles and things in the tire you want to check go around and check all your tires because you do not want to have a blowout when you're on a trip that is not fun at all not fun another thing i wanted to mention was about dry rot you know, one of the things with the RVs like this, when you have trailers or fifth wheels or even motorhomes, is they're sitting for long periods of time in the sun and sometimes just sitting. Sometimes just sitting in the sun and of course the dry temperatures, the hot temperatures and dry temperatures that we have are exceptionally hard. You want to check for dry rot. Your tires may look good on the outside. They may have really deep tread but the dry rot is what is bringing up those cracks. You want to check for dry rot. It's one of the things for RVs that is notorious for causing blowouts because they look good. You look at the tires and you think, oh, they look okay, but they've been sitting for a while, just like trailers do, and they don't get used for a while, and that age will come into play. So these, like I said, these are probably five or six years old almost. They're getting to the point where you do want to check them, if you have a trailer that has tires that are more than five years old, you definitely want to go out and check them. Or an RV, a motorhome, whatever you might have that has tires. Anything that rolls on the road that has rubber, you want to go check them. Uh, we had some friends recently who lost a tire on their uh, fifth wheel. They lost one tire. And another friend of us told us, if you lose one tire, you better check and replace the rest of them as well. And they didn't. And the next thing they knew, they lost another tire. Then they put the spare on. And guess what happened to the spare? It blew out as well. So they ended up buying a whole new set of tires for the trailer. Because sure enough, if one tire goes, there's a chance that the rest of them are going to go as well. And it's not fun in a trailer or an RV like this to have a flat tire on the road somewhere. Because, well, this is a heavy vehicle. I do have a... Uh, I do have a jack in here that is capable of lift a five ton jack. So I have a jack in my garage down below here that's heavy enough, that's heavy duty enough to lift this up, but I do not want to take one of those off. I could probably change one of the front tires if I had to, but one of these back dualies, I don't want to mess with those, um, especially if it's a flat one on the inside. So just uh, better to take care of it ahead of time so you don't have to take care of it on the road. You have safe travels wherever you're going. Be sure to go check your tires. Now that the summer is almost over, this is the perfect time to check them because the summers are hard on those tires. So have safe travels. Please don't forget, hit like if you like this video, share, subscribe, and ring that little bell on the side so you'll be notified whenever I put out another video. Have a great day. Safe travels.